Okay. Now, uh, welcome to today's lesson on punctuation. Uh, page one seventy eight of the grammar textbook. Now, it says, punctuation apostrophe comma exclamation mark full stop question mark. Now, all these are examples of punctuation marks. What is a punctuation mark? Punctuation marks are those marks or signs that we use to demarcate uh, sentences or different parts of a sentence, okay? You find out that when you're writing any passage, any text, when you're writing anything, when you get to the end of a sentence, you always put a mark, you always put a sign to indicate that the sentence has come to an end and to indicate that I'm going to begin another sentence after my punctuation mark. Now, if you connect that with the uh, definition I just gave you, you see that that punctuation mark, there, marking, uh, symbolizing the end of one sentence and the beginning of another is demarcating, is separating one sentence from another. We can also have punctuation marks within a sentence uh, demarcating uh, demarcating the different parts of a sentence, separating the different parts of a sentence. And these different parts of a sentence could be words, okay? For example, if I'm listing words, I use punctuation marks to separate them. Or they could be phrases. I'm listing phrases, I use punctuation marks to separate them. They could also be clauses. But in today's lesson for your level, we will not be dealing with how to use punctuation marks to uh, separate clauses. We're going to stick to just words and phrases. Okay, so let's get into it. Now it says, we use only one punctuation mark at the end of a sentence. Now before I get into A and B, I want you to see something. It says we use only one punctuation mark at the end of a sentence. And it says, remember that a sentence can take one of four forms. You learned this at the very basic, very early stage of uh, your lessons in English, I think from grade one, two, three, where you're taught ty uh, types of sentences, declarative, imperative, and all that. Now, this is basically what this box is trying to remind you of. So it says, remember that a sentence could be a statement, okay? A statement where you're just giving information, she's my neighbor. And a, a statement usually take the punctuation mark full stop at the end. Remember that a, uh, a sentence can also be a question. A question is uh, a group of words requiring you to give information. A statement gives information. Uh, a question requires information from someone. And at the end of questions, we have the question mark. Is she your neighbor? Question mark. Okay. A sentence can also be an instructional command, just like the teacher giving you instructions in class or instructions on the front page of your quiz papers. Okay, and for uh, instructions also take the punctuation mark full stop. So statements and instructions and commands take full stop. All right. Now, example, follow me. When you're instructing someone or you're commanding someone to follow you, at the end, full stop. Another example is an example of sentence is exclamation exclamatory sentences now for exclamations uh, exclamatory sentences we use exclamation marks at the end all right an example uh, he scored all f he scored all five goals now exclamatory sentences uh, express strong emotion strong feelings all right when we get into the rules you're going to get more examples and more details of these uh, little reminders they've put in this box now, rule one says, uh, start again. We use only one punctuation mark at the end of a sentence. Remember this point. I remember when we, uh, take note of this point rather. You remember when we, in one of our writing classes, I think it was the story writing, where one of you asked teacher, if it, uh, asked me if it were possible to use like two or three exclamation marks at the end of uh, sentences in your story. And I said, no, except you're writing a comic book one punctuation mark is enough. So you see this grammar rule is buttressing the point I made earlier. So at the end of every sentence, please stick to one punctuation mark. 1A says, we usually use a full stop for a sentence that gives information and a question mark for a sentence that asks for information. I already pointed that out here. Example, Kate missed the bus. Here, this is just giving information, it's a statement. So we use a full stop. 
this why is Kate late this is asking for information requiring information so we use a question mark 1b it says we usually use an exclamation mark and this is what it looks like we all know this already we usually use an exclamation mark after a word phrase or sentence that expresses strong emotion such as surprise or anger for example wow when someone is uh, astounded uh, uh, surprised you know you say wow when something unbelievable happens what an amazing car his 104 years old okay so we're going into rule two now 